Hey guys, Meanpoo here, and I'm finally ready to give my two cents on this external PCI Express dock. This hardware will allow you to add a video card to a laptop that does not have the capabilities to play games. You can also use it to sort of upgrade a laptop that has a video card that is not up to par for current games. To do this, you will need to buy an item called EXP GDC. There are some imitations out there, so be careful and read the comments if available on the store site before ordering. The item will come in many variations. This is the Express Card version, the Mini PCIe version, and this is the NGFS version. This will be the one I will use as it will fit in the Wi-Fi Bluetooth port on the laptop. You will also need a power supply. I went for a 700 watt as it should provide enough power to run any video card. There's another power supply that you can use that has less wires and keeps it to a minimum and that would be the OEM DELL D220P-01 AC adapter. I'll put a link in the description. This is used by many people and has enough power to run your card but that would be for older cars such as the GTX 660, GTX 750, HD 7970, etc. For any other cars such as the NVIDIA 900 series and the AMD RX series on up, I would suggest an external power supply. Since we are replacing the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, that functionality will be gone and you will need a Bluetooth Wi-Fi adapter. You can find them in Walmart or on the Amazon store. I cannot recommend one to use as most USB combo dongles are crap in my opinion. Since this is not mobile, I suggest that you connect your laptop via a Category 5 cable to your router so you can access the internet. My package arrived in a brown box and inside the box was this yellow envelope that contained the dock. Printed on the outside, the version is highlighted. This is the item that was inside the package. This is the PCIe 16X interface, a switch that we will not be using, the data interface that will come from the laptop, a USB port to connect a mouse, keyboard, or probably an external drive if you want it, a DC power in, a eight pin power input, and a six pin power output. Also in the package, there is a cable extension and the actual interface card. This will vary depending on your interface. This is the Rosewheel Glacier Series power supply that I will use. It has enough power for my needs. It is a semi-modular which will let me connect only the cables I need. I'll put a link in the description. You will need an external monitor and an HDMI cable. The last thing you will need is a video card. This is the Gigabyte GeForce GTX 970 G1 Gaming. There will be no link for this as the card is out of production and can be found used on eBay. This will be a good card for those that have a laptop with only Intel graphics. Okay, now we are going to set it up and this will be the physical part which is quite easy. Grab your power supply 20 pin cable and connect it to the extension cable that came in the package like so. Connect the extension cable to the dock. Next, we will insert the video card into the slot. Make sure the pins line up and insert it like this. This is the power connector for the card. Yours may vary. I will connect a six plus two pin connector and insert it into my power supply and then insert the other end into the video card. You may be able to use one cable for both ports, but I chose to use two separate ones. I will now connect another cable to my power supply and again connect it to the video card. This is what it looks like. Now for those of you that have the Acer Nitro 5 AN515, I have a video on how to dismantle and remove the bottom cover. I'll put a link for that in the description. Once inside, you'll want to remove the battery from the connector. Locate the Wi-Fi Bluetooth card and carefully disconnect the antenna. Remove the screw holding the card in place and remove the card. Put the card in an anti-static bag or somewhere safe.
Insert the interface cable carefully and screw it down. Although the cable part is reinforced to the board by shrink wrapping and glue, take care as to put the screw in, you will have to lift it adding stress. Put some tape on the two antenna and tuck them away. Reconnect the battery to your laptop. This is how I'm running my cable for the test. I'll put the cover on making sure not to pinch the cable and I'm not going to screw it down. This is what it looks like fully assembled. Do not plug in the other end of the interface to the dock right now. I will connect my Category 5 cable to have internet when we boot. If you have a dongle, go ahead and insert it into one of the USB slots on your laptop. Plug in your power supply to your laptop. Boot into Windows and open Device Manager. Go to Display Adapters and disable the 1050 Ti or whatever card you have. Next, scroll down and disable the port as just disabling the above will not work. This may be different on your machine and you may have to manually disable ports till you find the right one. It took a lot of trial and error before I got it right. Next, download DDU or Display Driver Uninstaller. When finished, reboot into safe mode. When in safe mode, extract the DDU archive and run DDU. Select the device type on the right. For me, it will be NVIDIA. Next, select Clean and Shut Down option on the top left. When finished and your computer is fully shut down, connect your interface cable to the dock. Connect the power supply cable and turn it to the on position. Power on your laptop. The dock, power supply, and video car will power up. Log into Windows and go to Device Manager. You will see the basic display adapter. This is your external card. Since I have an NVIDIA card, I will download NVIDIA Experience and then get the latest driver. When finished installing, I will go into NVIDIA Control Panel and set the card to dedicated PhysX. Next, connect an HDMI cable to your video card and the other end to an external monitor. Open Display Settings and you will see that the video is now mirrored on the monitor and your laptop screen. Identify the external monitor and select Show Only on the External Display. When you do this, the laptop screen will go dark. Your screen should look like this and you can identify it to make sure. And that's pretty much it, you're done. Here are some sample benchmarks. The first one is the Heaven benchmark. I didn't change any settings or anything like that, I just installed it and ran the benchmark. This is Borderlands 3, and this is some info from the benchmark file. 
The only thing it really shows is FPS and settings. I did not screen cap, so there would be no performance loss. The last is Red Dead Redemption 2 using console settings. So what do I think about it? I think this is a good product for those that have computers with no video cards in them. I feel that the performance on the CPU will hinder performance and cause it not to play at its full potential. I know for a fact that my 970 gets way better FPS in my desktop system using an i7-6700 as well as the Vega 56. I still feel like there is something holding it back. I checked to make sure that the card is running correctly as you can see here and that leads me back to the CPU. If you purchase the bigger power supply, I suggest you build a desktop system with it and use the video card as well so it will not be wasted. This is just in case it does not work for you and you might not be able to take it back. Just saying. That way you will only be out of the money you pay for the dock, which is just a small loss. All in all, I did see some gains, but they were very small in my opinion. If it works for you, by all means, go for the product, but it just didn't work for me. One really good thing I forgot to mention is that the GPU runs really cool since it's not stuck in a case. Using this with an NVIDIA card will allow you to adjust the fan speed, voltage, and some other items that were locked previously. When I tried to overclock the GTX 970, it locked up and I was only able to increase the clock speed by 50. When using an AMD card, you can use Wattman to adjust the settings and will not have a problem if being modest. Well, that's all I have for now and I'll see you next time. Mean Poo, out.